Hey guys, it's KDK here. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm here with Legend 63.6% win rate mid-range hunter by a guy named Och Katzl HS. I'm sorry if I pronounced this uh, not correctly, but I tried. I mean, I tried. So I would say it's a standard mid-range hunter. Uh, a lot of versions, or we could call it even like Base Hunter or something like that. And yeah, I wonder how this will work out because I haven't been playing so much Hunter lately, but I've seen a few of them on the ladder and I think it was decent. I mean, their deck and their performance was decent. I made one change, I don't have second hunger crab, so I decided to put in one call to wild. I guess you are going to be like, oh my god, you are switching one mana card for nine mana card, what the f is that? And I will just say that I want to play some more late game, or you know, if you top deck this into your, into your empty hand, it's going to be super awesome, but also if you top deck it into your starting hand it won't be that good but I want to play it I want to re refresh the stereotype and I want to try it out so let's yeah let's try it out and stay tuned and remember guys Just have fun. Rexa versus Rexa. Mm, so it's going to be a mirror match I guess do I want to keep a hunger crab? I mean, I will definitely throw away the rhino. I'm thinking a lot if I want to keep the unleash, but I would say it's pretty good because I'm second and I think it will give me a lot of options to swing the board state. But if I keep the unleash, I want to throw away the hunger crab because I don't think it's going to see a use in this matchup. Um, if I knew I will get Thunder Rhino back and a kill command, I don't know, I maybe would consider throwing away the Unleash, but... Um, yeah, definitely coining the Grandmother, just because we have the follow-up of this guy. I think we want to adapt this one to survive the one trade here. Oh my god, these three options are completely useless. Tree attack is useless, poisonous is completely useless, and wind fury could give me some value by giving one attack to the face. But I mean, these options, these options were not very good. Uh, uh, not good. Not good at all. Unlucky. Uh, this is not that bad for us. I like it that he's trading this. Hmm. I would go for the red pack, but because we can get the clear here, I think we should play the companion. Yeah. Huffer, always Huffer, Smork is Smork. Uh, yeah, definitely. I thought that the hunter against me would get a, like more tempo start. I mean, that he's going to play a bunch of stuff, but he just hero powered at turn 2. So the unleash didn't do the job I thought it will do. So when I think about it once again, I would throw it away, but you know, you never you never know what what start he's going to have. I mean the alley cats were not bad. But the second turn just was bad. <laughs> yeah. Come on bro, you don't th you don't need to think that much. I think he's thinking about playing Houndmaster, but then he don't like the traits that I will get from that. At this point, if he has, he had Animal Companion, and he was thinking about it so long. Oh, the Firefly is actually a big problem here because we could have just, uh, you know, kill command this and going face with the fact that I have 3-1 on the board. Now it's uh, a lot of... Uh, I mean, no, 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 a lot of... Mm, it's more complicated now. We could maybe play the Unleash. 
Uh, but it's not doing good with anything. Let's do it like that. And I think we are forced to go face now. We are in the, in the position of the aggressor. Uh, the thing you must think about in these mirror matchups is, at least from my experience, like who is uh, tempoing the game, who is ahead on the board, and if you are the one who is ahead, you have to take advantage of that, and then you can get punished by Unleash of the Hounds, and yeah, that's exactly the thing I wanted to do. I wanted to turn the board state like he did now, but... Not good, this is not very good. Mm. Uh, I was thinking that uh, I should definitely play the red pack, but I was not sure if I should hero power and play the Golaka, but then I realized I maybe could play the Rhino here. Oh, yeah, uh, we will play the Rhino. And... I mean... Uh, do we want to do this trade? Why should we? It's not, it's not a beast, it's not a threat, it cannot be buffed. So we just go face for the two extra face damage, which might be relevant relevant in the later stages of the game. Yeah, it can get buffed, okay, but he's going to kill command it anyway. Yeah, um, I don't think it's time yet for the unleash, even though no, 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 no. Uh, we are going full face here. We need to smoke this guy. We have. Probably, well, at least 5 damage from our uh, bow and uh, hero power. So we need 5 more. So if he expands the board, we have. We will have a big unleash. And I like this a lot because we can kill it with. He can. We can kill it. Uh, we can kill him with the usage of the Hydra. Boom! Three phase damage. Boom! Three phase damage. Boom! Three phase damage. Oh my God! What a nice card. G G. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video and myself, consider subscribing to my channel. I will really appreciate it. Appreciate. Subscribing is always appreciated. So if you liked it, if you did not like it, tell me why did you not like it. Just don't go and just don't dislike the video. I want to know why. I want to get better, okay? I'm trying, guys. But the fancy dislikes from all of the... All of the... I don't even know how to call you, but... It's not like... Mm, it's not doing anything. Yeah, thank you, guys. Have a nice day.